Hi, I'm Engineer Hoist. It's Wednesday, and you know what that means? It means we've got information about a new event here in Transformers Earth Wars. Uh, and uh, it's a pretty standard event. It's, uh, it's an individual event. You just gotta be headquarters level four. You tap the event, event button, and you go into the battle zones. And it's the uh, normal battle zones where it's not the flat battle zones where there's 10 points every time. So it's, a, it's the pretty standard battle zones. You can see through 1 through 13, 14 points for zone 1, or 106 points for zone 13. And then you also have the totalizer prizes where you can win 3 and 4 star shards, energon, alloy, spark. Uh, they've got a 2 star crystal thrown in there for good measure, and some force fields. A uh, pretty standard event, but the big news that came out in VIP... Uh, email where I get all this information from. Uh, this is the breaking point event, by the way. Uh, the big news here, let me go ahead and read you this uh, description because we think you might see where we're going and we're going to talk about that here in, in a minute. As the sole Autobot Combiner, Superion has shouldered the heavy burden, while as the sole Decepticon Combiner, Devastator has let his power go straight to his head. For the Autobots, it's clear that relying on one combiner is not a long-term solution to the Decepticon threat. They endeavor to form another combiner to share the aerial bot's burden. The Decepticons consider Devastator too dangerous to rely on. Megatron has initiated a plan to form a new combiner who is more subservient and knows their place in the Decepticon pecking order. That's right, people. New combiners are coming in Transformers Earth Wars to be added to Superion for the Autobots and Devastator for the Decepticons. Now, let me just go ahead and tell you, I have no insider information about who's coming. Everything I'm going to talk about is pure speculation on my part based on the bots that are available in the game and my Transformers knowledge. Uh, they do plan to reveal the new combiners tomorrow, Thursday, during their live stream, which you can catch them on Twitch, Mob Crush, I think, YouTube, Facebook page. Uh, they stream a lot of places. It happens at 5 p.m. Universal Time, which equates to uh, noon Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Central, 10 a.m. Mountain, and 9 a.m. Pacific Time. So make sure you tune in live or catch it later if you can't make it live so you can see the first look at the new combiners that we're going to get. Okay, so we're on my Autobot account, and I went ahead and uh, fired up in the shuttle a couple of squads of who I think are going to be or the options for joining. Well, nope, not them. That's my first A team and B team, C, D. Okay, down here. This is one of the combiners which I've seen thrown around, Optimus Maximus. This is not a combiner that we found in G1, but he was available in the Combiner Wars toy line. It has Optimus Prime as a torso, Prowl and Sunstreaker as the arms, Ironhide and Mira Mirage as the legs, and Rodimus formed a chest minion piece, very similar to Blackjack for the Menosaur toy. Uh, now, I do have a 3-star Ironhide, but he's in the research lab right now, heading off to level 41. I don't have a 3-star Rodimus, so I hope it's not this guy, because I don't have all the parts for him yet. And I bet a lot of people don't, because Optimus Prime's hard to get, and so is Rodimus. But my pick for who I think is going to be the new Autobot Combiner, and these ladies have been in the game since day one, the Torchbearers, or Rust Renegades, if you go by the package on the toy, Victorion. This, com this consists of Pyramagna as the torso, with Jumpstream and Dust Up as the arms, and the sisters Storm Clash and Skyburst as the legs, and Rust Dust forms the chest minion, fits on the chest of Victorion. This is my pick for who I think. Again, there's no insider information. This is just my prediction, my gut feeling. I think we're going to be seeing Victorion. And as you can see here, I really hope we do because I'm stacked and ready to go. Now for the Decepticon side, let's go over to my Decepticon account and see who I think is going to be the Decepticon combiner coming to be announced tomorrow and coming shortly after that. Okay, so here we are on the Decepticon account, and let, let's go ahead and head down to that shuttle and take a look at who I think is going to be the next Decepticon combiner. Now, a lot of people are going to be hoping that it's Predaking, uh, but I don't think that it's going to be that because right now we just have the five Predacons in the game, but A, they were not available in the Combiner Wars toy line, and also we've been, there, we've been having the six bot combiners 
uh, in the game to go along with the six bot combiners that they released in the Combiner Wars toy line, even though Superion has basically five bots, but they use Power Glide as a gun, and that's true to the Combiner Wars toy line. Now, similarly, for the Decepticons, oh, we're at the uh, 18 there, although I leveling up my Shockwave, he's not really 18 material yet, but I, I like getting the uh, points for him. Uh, but interestingly about Shockwave, my pick for who I think is going to be the new Decepticon combiner, again, purely speculation, these guys, the Combaticons, is Bruticus. And yes, I have Shockwave in there because, again, true to the Combiner Wars toy line, they had Shockwave as the gun, which homages that one G1 episode, I can't remember the title, where Brute, the Combaticons, as Bruticus, were attacking Cybertron, and Shockwave, as the guardian of Cybertron, was trying to fight them off. He turned into his little space gun mode, and Bruticus just grabbed him out of the air and started using him as a gun. So the toy homages that, and I think that Transformers Earth Wars, Earth Wars we're going to see that same thing here. We're going to see Bruticus with Onslaught as the torso, and Blastoff and Vortex as the arms, Swindle and Brawl as the legs, and Shockwave as the gun. So that is my pick for the Decepticon Combiner. And again, I still think it's going to be Victorion for the Autobots, but I wouldn't be surprised to see if Optimus Maximus shows up because we do have the bots available for them in the game. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, who do you think are going to be the Combiners? And of course, if you're seeing this after the announcement tomorrow, that's cheating. It doesn't. Your answer doesn't count. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It always counts. Uh, so anyway, uh, if you want to see more information about upcoming things in the game, including event reports, new bots coming out, click the subscribe button uh, for this channel, and uh, we'll be. Br I'll be bringing it to you. Um, also, check us out on Band with the Non-Toxic Gamers. We uh, join the discussion over there. We, we talk a lot about that and post in information first before I even have a chance to get the videos. I post it up over there uh, so you can get your first uh, details for the events over there. And, of course, if you want, you can always check out some new videos or some of the other videos that I've got posted up for Transformers Earth Wars. I'm Engineer Hoist. Keep rolling, my friends. Thanks for watching.